EA Sports and the PGA Tour so proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From the beachside town of Hilton Head and Harbor Town Golf Links, it's final round coverage of the RBC Heritage. It is the great challenge that all these golfers face, trying to string four solid rounds together, trying to best mother nature and this course, and trying to beat the entire field as we check the leaderboard. Our leader here on this Sunday is our featured golfer. He's got a sizable advantage here as he looks to increase it further. And that will be in the fairway. So a solid start here on this Sunday. Second shot coming up. Let's check in for the first time with Notabagay the third. Coming at it from 116. Pin about medium depth, though it is on the left side. That was the gap wedge, coming in just a bit too far right, not how he drew it up. I always looked inside that 15 feet circle. Anything inside that was gonna be a good shot. So in my book, that's a good shot. Yeah, that's a good putt. It's a birdie here at one. And he'll get that score to minus 29. And this round starting off strong after the birdie at the first. This in the fairway at number two. Got every bit of that through it all the way there and got it to stop. Home in two on the par five. Oh, wonderful effort right there. That was tracking much of the way and it'll leave a short one for birdie. Can ask for a better start to a round than this. It is back-to-back -back birdies at one and two. And he's gonna move to 30 under par. The driving's been sensational all week, and here's another one that's gonna set up nicely in the fairway. It's a solid shot and a green in regulation, but a little away from the band. Birdie putt coming up, and we go to Iona Steven. Yeah, thanks, Rich. This is a pretty straightforward putt overall, but we are going up a gentle slope. Needs an extra bit of gas. That one just going to sneak on by. So that safely in, it's a par here at the third. And he's gonna maintain that substantial lead.
this going to wind up in the short grass to the left, but still going to make a good run at this. Yeah, that's a well-played hole. It's a birdie here at four. And that score continues to impress. He is now at 31 under par. No fairway here, this one in that rough. At half the equation on that shot, the distance, not quite the accuracy. Missed it. Hair to the right. Yeah, not quite a foul ball. Kept it in the ballpark, and well, let's see how good you can chip. Yeah, there's another one. Back-to-back -back birdies here at four and five. And that's gonna move him to, you ready for this, 32 under. The driving's been sensational all week, and here's another one that's gonna set up nicely in the fairway. From the fairway, Iona, this is second. 137 is the number. Pin all the way at the back. He can fly it the full way. It was a good shot coming in here. I know it's a little long, but still, inside that 10-foot circle is always good and even money, really, to make birdie. Okay, nicely played. That's in for birdie here at six. And he's gonna move to 33 under par. Terrible spot either, sitting up in the short grass. Oh, everything is coming up. Rose's four hour leader. How about this? Holding it from off the green to extend that lead. Yeah, why not? Another great tee shot. Maybe a chance now to go after what would be a fifth consecutive birdie. Well, not quite going to make it onto the green. It'll wind up a foot or so off. No, I kind of underread that one, and it winds up missing below the hole.
Okay, back in for par here at the eighth. And that's gonna keep this large lead right where it is. And it would appear that that ball is into the bunker. The tee shot collected here, now a short one for his second. Okay, a good out, and that's what will remain for birdie. Now this for another birdie. Yep, that's nicely done. It's a birdie here at the ninth. That'll finish off a 29 on this front side. Seven shots under par. Really starting to make a hard game look easy. Drive after drive has been superb. And this one, well, as we like to say, is in the mayor's office. Early part of this back nine and a good approach shot now we'll have this for birdie. Okay, well done. A couple of birdies here sandwiched around the turn at 9 and 10. And stop the presses if you've heard this before. He's well on his way to yet another victory on the year. Looks so simple when you're going good, doesn't it? And that is yet another solid drive. Wing coming from his right as he gets set for his second. And that ball looked good in the air. You'd like it to be a little closer, but still inside 40 feet, just going to have to be careful with the lag putting. Ah, the pace, absolutely perfect there. Down the slope, it's in for a birdie. And this one was over a while ago. This is just a walk in the park now. Everything flowing really well right now. Coming off three birdies in a row. Here's another solid tee shot as well. Now note his second from the fairway. 152 to the hole. Wind definitely hurting in his face. Not quite going to hold the green, but that'll be okay. Oh, he had designs on making that. Couldn't quite get it to go, but that was well judged. Yeah, sometimes the speed can get away on you just a little bit, but really got it just right.
Once again, another great tee shot. Uh, I'm starting to wonder how low can you go? And the driving has been simply superb. Absolutely can do no wrong. Dialed in, and that is an eagle, and this is a spectacular round of golf. Nicely done, and that'll be a great birdie chance here at 14. Oh, yes, indeed. The line there, perfect. It is in for a birdie. And this is turning into an absolute runaway at the top of the leaderboard. Boy, he's in a nice little groove right now. Played the last couple of holes in three under par, and he's got another in the fairway here. Two shots around this green is always good. Now, for a little CVS, perhaps a third shot on this par five, get one close, maybe make four. Okay, sensible play right there, and that one on deck. Chance now for another birdie. Well, and he's had great conversion on putts like this. Even when he's not close to the hole, he's left himself with very makeable opportunities. Mm, that's going to scoot a foot or two by. Okay, a solid par here at the 15th. And parts are fine at this point with this tournament well in hand. Really starting to make a hard game look easy. Drive after drive has been superb. And this one? Well, as we like to say, is in the mayor's office. This one looks right on point. A little short, a little left, but inside 10 feet, so even I can't really criticize that. Ah, that a pure roll there. That is down for a birdie here at 16. And this is no longer a contest, folks. This one is all over, but the shout.
Okay, fortunate there. That ball hops onto the green, and he'll be left with that for his birdie. Facing 29 feet. Spot on. It's a late birdie here at 17. And he is just unstoppable right now. Yes, step one out of the way. It is in the fairway at 18. One more good approach shot could just about seal it. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. Now this for another birdie. You betcha. Birdie's at 16, 17, and 18 to wrap things up. Frank, I guess we can say, I hope our featured golfer looks good in plaid. That's what you get for winning here, that red plaid jacket. What a tremendous victory. It is. I mean, that jacket stands out, doesn't it? Especially when the cannon goes off, you know, the RBC heritage. Um, you know, it's one of Pete Dye's sort of most famous golf courses, too, that, that gets plenty of love from the players. So, you know, you've just won at a venue that as many a player would gladly change places right now. Until next time, for our entire cast and crew, I'm Rich Lerner. This has been a presentation of EA Sports PGA Tour Golf. So long, everybody.